In this video I will show you how you construct the drive out of this Western Digital USB drive. Hello, my name is Janne. In this video I will show you how you can save some serious cash in your hard drive purchases. Getting large hard drives for your NAS or home server can be quite costly. However, you can save quite a lot by buying external hard drives and then removing the drives from inside the case. Right now you can get a Western Digital 8TB external hard drive for around 150 euros, while a similar size Western Digital Red 8TB NAS drive costs more than 100 euros more. Still, these external hard drives actually have similar drives internally, which makes them a lucrative option for your storage needs. For this you will need some guitar picks or credit cards, and you will also need some screwdrivers. So here is the drive. This is the top part, and as you can see the hard drive is on this other side of this enclosure. And on the side where the hard drive is located there are three places where you need to put those guitar picks. And on the opposite side there are two. So let's start. Okay, now I have the picks in place, so it's time to switch the unit around. I'll be using this a bit heavier pick to pry this open. Uh, this uh, bottom part has a similar, similar grill that you have at, at the top, and we can just use this pick to get it off. We have this side. And there we have it. Finally, there are four screws on either side uh, that we need to remove. And these are torque screws. Okay, now I have loosened the screws and we can just remove the drive. Finally we have this controller that is attached to the drive and we will need to remove it. There is only one screw that we have to take off. And then you can just pull it off. And there you have it. This is a Western Digital w WD80EZAZ drive that is actually a helium filled HTS, the enterprise grade drive. But it's cheaper to buy this way. If the hard drive doesn't work with your computer, you may need to put a piece of electrical tape on the third pin of the power connector. So now you know how you can get those hard drives a bit cheaper. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.